I am Catherine Growney, I'm 19 years old and I study musical theatre at London College of Music. Um, I had my first driving lesson on my 17th birthday. <laughs> Bang on. Well, where I live in Leicester you can't really get anywhere without waiting half hour for a bus or getting a lift, like nothing's really walking distance apart from corner shops and chip shops <laughs> so driving was kind of necessary especially if you wanted to work it was really necessary where I live. I love driving, it's freedom, it's really really, it's a good way even if you're just a bit upset you can just get out and just leave, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I had a Ford KA 2005 1.3 litre, it was silver, I called it chuggy. <laughs> <laughs> the crash was like a weird set of circumstances. I was literally, it was a Friday and I was moving back to London on Sunday. Um, and all through summer I've been working pretty much full time to afford my rent. And so this shift I wasn't even meant to do, I was covering it for someone. I literally got asked to do it the day before. Um, and I was just driving and it happened to be the one day that week that it was raining and just came round like country roads. Um, came round this corner and then just another car came round the other corner but in my lane thinking I don't know I don't know if he was speeding or if he slipped on the wet or if he was just being an idiot but he came my lane so I had to swerve to avoid hit the curb and I kind of it was all really I kind of skidded and then went into the ditch sideways and then just kind of stick my hand out for help because in the bush that far you can't be seen so one person came from my direction and she managed to kind of help me. I don't really think it's changed my attitude to driving because it wasn't my fault. I was doing all the right things. I was going like 30, 40 miles an hour. I think I always might have panicked when I steered and hit the wrong button or something and made me skid. So I'm quite a trusting person, so I think other people will drive as well as I like to drive. And apparently that's not the case. On the day of the crash, I drove again. Not in my car, I drove my boyfriend's car, Dan. And I was kind of saying to him, I don't think I, I want to get in a car again. It's a bit awkward I like I don't really know I thought if I do get in a car will I just not be able to do it I didn't know how I react he was like right come on let's just go so I just got in and it was fine it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be I was a bit shaky and I was like right yeah I can do it now and I parked up and I just I haven't driven since then and that was August yeah that was beginning of August I have a new car now I got a new car yesterday um, I haven't seen it yet because it's in Leicester but I have a Renault Clio and I'm excited, I'm excited to drive it again.